Hello once again to democracy. I'm gonna have a, another bash at this. I think for this turn, what I'd really like to pass is law and order and some armed police. I need 50. And right now, if I look at this, my maximum, my maximum is 44. So I was playing around with this. If I fire individual, individual people, overall the the political capital I get will drop. So what I think what I'm going to do is reshuffle cabinet because these people actually have jobs they like to go in, and if I can juggle these around a little bit. When I was playing around with this, the transport one probably had the the worst, but we'll see how I can do. I was just looking at this. It, I, the funny thing is, I put these two in in you know public service and economy, and that's exactly where they are now because they've got the highest political capital. But we'll start again. Hire for the foreign policy minister. The, the main problem with this is the, the sympathies. Conservatives. I don't think conservatives like me, and I can't actually check on this. If I want to see the conservatives, I have to come here and find the. Where are the conservatives? Oh, they're there. Oh, conservatives actually. They don't mind me. Because of the cameras, the police force. But they don't like the Race Discrimination Act. Or narcotics, or the tax for the inheritance. Like, well, let's not get distracted. So actually, conservatives do like me. So who doesn't like me? I should I just check that real quick? Capitalists, patriots, and middle income. Okay. So we can. This is for the foreign policy. So this guy here at the top. Norman. He wants to be in transport, public services, or tax. So he's not the right guy for this. Um, Mary here. I would like her to be in the economy. And the other 55, Tammy, I would like her to be in law and order. Or, you know, yeah, so that's, that's, their, that's their same jobs, isn't it? Let's put them in there right now. See, economy, higher. And liberal and environmentalists, they like me a lot, so that's good. And then Law and Order, we will boost Tammy. Oh yeah, she moved 55, there she is. I say 55 even though it's 5.5. .5. It's just the way my brain works. I see 55, well that's 55. I see 42, well that's 42, even though it's 4.2, so. I might do that a few times. Let's go back to the foreign minister now that those two are, are juggled about. Where does he want to be? Victor Williams wants to be in foreign policy. Hmm. I might put him there. Right now what I try and do is find those with the highest the highest political capital and start putting them into my, my cabinet. That's what this is, right? It's my cabinet. Uh, cabinet ministers, yeah, this is a cabinet. So, right, well, where was he? Was it him there? Uh, Victor, yes. So he's got 4.7. So let's see. Joel wants to be in foreign policy, but he's a 2.7. So I'm going to ignore the, the ones that are low right now, so I'll look, look at only those that are higher than 4.7. So here's go. There's a uh, Carrie White, 4.8, but she doesn't want to be in this particular job. Um, 4.7. Or it's now 4.7. So doesn't really because this one's got a little bit more experience. Victor's got a little bit more experience than the than uh, Ted. Yeah. Okay. You are now my foreign policy minister. Let's get welfare. That is actually pretty important. Again, let's see who wants to be in welfare. She does. Vanessa. 
Ah, oh, damn it, stop. I did, it's not dead. Mumble, mumble. I forgot. No, I didn't stop. I forgot to put my timer on. So, two seconds while I stop to put the timer on now. Okay, here we go. I'll say that's been around five minutes. So, let's see, this is for welfare. So, she's. She wants to be in welfare, so 3.8 for welfare. Let's see, is anyone higher? 3.7 or. Uh, 4.7 here, he doesn't want to be in welfare. 3.8, he doesn't want to be in welfare. 4.3, he doesn't want to be in welfare. Um, oh, 4.8, welfare. Transport. Hmm, yeah, I'm going to put her into transport, so let's see which transport. go. So welfare, back to welfare. I think 3.8 was the highest. Yeah. Did she want to be in welfare? She did, so maybe I should put her in welfare and put someone else in transport. Well, let's, we'll come back to welfare. What's a public service minister? Uh, oh, there's one right there, 4.2 for public service. Uh, 4.7, not public service. 4.2, we're looking for higher than 4.2, 4.3, nope. Nope, nope. So he is highest. Tax. Ooh, that's an important one, isn't it? Hmm. 3.8 for tax. So far for um, Gabriel. Oh, there's a 4.3 for tax. 4.7, it's even better. I know this is this is putting inexperienced people into these important jobs rather than keeping my, you know, like Carmen Ward there. She's got a good amount of experience, so she might have been good to put in one of these other jobs. But I need the political capital that these ones bring to me. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what was it? 4.7? Tax? Tax? Okay. He's for tax. Now welfare. So, 3.8 was the highest for welfare. Let's see. 4.3 for not tax. For tax, not welfare. Hmm. 3.8. Where's my other experienced people? 2.4 for for Mario. <coughs> Excuse me, my thoughts just all can this can I gank gap? That's not too nice. Oh, I'll mute the microphone if I if I need to, so I'm not constantly clearing my throat. Hmm, there's a uh, only a, a point difference between Pearl Stewart and Vanessa so I might just go for Pearl because you know experience and that probably is important e yes I think yeah I'll just go for her I don't actually know if the political capital for these people go up like if I do a good job does it go up does it it's probably encouraged that you shuffle your your ministers. So it probably goes up for the ones that aren't in the party, that aren't in the, the cabinet. Hmm, maybe. I don't actually know, so... Oh, 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 what was it? This... Yep, I was going to pass that, because that's fairly good to do. So, 32. Let's see, how much do I have to gain? I have 33 to go up. So, 50, take away 32. 33. 33, not 32. Sorry, don't don't shout at me for miscalculating that. Not until I miscalc... You know, mis... I can't speak. Not until I get this wrong. Basically, just... Well, never mind, I'm mumbling now. So it's 50 take away 33, which leaves 17. 
So if you add 7 to that, that makes 40. And then 10 runs up to 50. Yeah, okay. So I need... I just need to make sure I've got 17 political card bottle left. Right. So what do you got? I've got the... Oh wait. Oh yeah, that's 33 per turn. I've got 25 available. Okay, so what can we pass? Oh, I should be reading these out. I'm sorry. Uh, prevent citizens from being discriminated against purely on the basis of race, i.e. racist employment practices, etc. Yep, let's pass that one. And for this that I did, not everyone has m the money to pay a lawyer to defend themselves in court, although a citizen could theoretically defend himself provided, providing state employed lawyers should make for a fair system. So that's a that's a really good one to pass. So I've still got 24. Uh, that's at the highest. What's the prisons like? Hmm. Space program. <laughs> ah, that drop but 24 to 17, or, or 24 take away 17. So that, I just passed this one, I think. Work safety law, often known as health and safety, is a series of measures to ensure employees are not at risk from injury in the day-to-day -day activities in their day and <sighs> sorry I will read that again to ensure employees are not at risk from injury in their day-to-day -day activities trade unionists often hail such laws as valuable defense against unscrupulous employee employers who may put lives at risk Many business leaders are concerned at the high levels of bureaucracy and restrictive practices that can result from such loss, which they say as a bird which they they see as a burden on business. Hmm. Special tax breaks given to large foreign owned multinational companies that's too much right now anyway, so I shouldn't be bothering with that. I guess that one was just kinda good because it's... I'll put up health, trade unions will like it, capitalists, they won't. Oh no, it's the capitalists, nothing, nothing to do with them. Jobs productivity though, so I'm not gonna... Hmm. I'm not gonna increase it, I'll just have it there. Helps health, so that's good. Although productivity going down is not great. Let's go. Yay! Homelessness is down and unemployment has gone up. Poverty has gone down. Hmm. We no longer have a problem with homelessness and people sleeping on our streets. This will cheer up our more liberal citizens, social socialists and of course the poorer members of our society. Appoint a UN ambassador. Okay. We are currently budget is in good shape. We are currently have a surplus of nineteen billion. Pretty much twenty billion. No, I'm not dropping taxes. I'm doing fairly well so far. Our ambassador to the UN retires this year and we need to name a successor as soon as possible. Much will be made of whether we appoint a hardliner who sticks up for the country or someone more able to compromise. Regina Phillips 
I think her name is that Regina? Well, I'll just go with it. Is well known as a patriot who will fight tooth and claw to get our interests represented in at at the UN. Seen as a popular choice amongst patriots and more conservative citizens, she is historically against foreign aid and a supporter of import tariffs. She is not excuse me, she is not popular internationally. Steve Harris is a popular figure on the international stage with a reputation for solving difficult problems through compromise and understanding. A true internationalist. He is popular with a liberal lib lib tongue twister or tongue tied, I guess is is my problem right now. He is popular with the liberals and socialists in our in our society. As well as fallen leaders. Yep, we'll go with him. Because that will help the GDP. The other person doesn't. So yay, homelessness is not a problem. Yay. And I got 52,000. 52 points to spend. Where is Lawn Order? Ooh, I could bring out the death penalty. I won't, but I could. The death penalty is the ultimate punishment. No nope, proof that it works. For serious crimes. Opponents are concerned of the possibility of killing the wrong person and suggest that only a bar bar barbaric state has the death penalty. Supporters point out that it's absolutely guaranteed no will be offending and acts as a deterrent to serious crimes. Detention without trial. Detention with tri without trial allows your police and security service to detain suspects when they do not have sufficient evidence or cannot reveal sensitive evidence to, co to convict suspects. This can be justified in the name of preventing terrorism, but liberals are concerned that this infringes on human rights. Hmm. Speed cameras. Well, that brings in some money. And it lowers um, motorists, I guess, isn't it? Curfew. Introduced for a short period of time in state of national emergency. Induced? Introduced. No, introduced. Yeah, that's introduced. For a short period of time in state. In state of national emergency? doesn't sound right in my mind but yeah I wouldn't trust my mind okay uh, there can be an effective these these can be an effective way to combat crime at the cost of much personal liberty often however limiting the ability of peaceful citizens to leave their homes at night can be a sign of a country's Degeneration to serve authority, auth authority, adadism. Words. Yeah, long words. So I'm going to go for armed officers, which is kind of funny because it's like no death penalty here. Police have guns. Because I mean, guns kill people. And police with guns would kill people too. But let's go. Liberals really don't like it, but <laughs> give all, every officer submachine guns. Specialists. That doesn't help organize crime. Actually, I do have a problem with crime right now, don't I? Although I don't really have the money to... Let's go there. Every officer armed. Sorry, liberals. So yeah, I, I need to knock this down. This is actually really high. So I might actually need more than just armed police. I can't do a whole lot more right now, but... but that's not even... That's public services. Where's... Uh, police drones might help. 
pretty expensive. Although I've just used up all my political capital. So that'll do for this turn and for this video. Thank you. And